Warning. This preview cannot show all of the terrifying and grotesque transformation sequences from the last 30 minutes of The Beast Within. The filmmakers strongly suggest that those who may be shocked by this unique, horrifying movie use caution when seeing the film. <laughs> Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Horror film history is filled with people turning into animals. Wolves. Snakes. Gorillas. I can climb as if I had wings. But the beast within has got them all beat. To shed his skin like a cicada. A were cicada. Sometimes the best ideas are just staring at you. Seeing's believing that. So, what, is he bitten by another wear cicada? No, he wasn't. 17 years later, the child of this encounter, Michael, is suffering from a strange ailment. What we have is a pituitary gland that has gone crazy that compels him to embark on a killing spree. <laughs> Fueling his change into... <laughs> Can I get a look at an actual cicada? Right, less like a cicada, more like E.T.'s crack addict cousin. Now, usually I leave my conclusion to the end, but since this is a film bracketed by scenes in which a woman is raped by a man turning into an insect, let's all just agree it's utterly vile and should never be watched by anyone ever before moving on to the other issues. He ain't my father. Billy Connors is my daddy. Michael is killing off members of the Kerwin family because he's turning back into the first wear cicada. I came back for them. All of them. All the Kerwins. Who they trapped in a cellar and fed corpses. The human flesh Billy needed to live. Everyone is horrified by this. <laughs> it was easy. But not by the fact that this treatment somehow turned him into a cicada. What kind of medicine are you practicing here, doctor? Not one person says, all very interesting, but why is he turning into a bug? I told you there was nothing wrong with our son. Nothing that some simple, decent medical care couldn't cure. Also, Michael makes a noise like a cicada. Uh, the cicadas. The 17 year life cycle is like the cicada. It took me 17 years, Tom. Like the cicadas, but I came back. He sheds his skin like a cicada. And of course, he's out for revenge. Lord save us. He's been embalmed. Alive. To the best of my belief, cicadas don't hold a grudge, let alone inherit one from a previous generation. The McClary boy come back as Billy. Sidebar, cicadas are also vegetarian. <laughs> The basic story of the serial killer re-emerging on a multi-year cycle is very similar to the X-Files episode, Tombs. No. 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 But they managed to pull it off, thanks to the frankly brilliant idea of telling the story without someone turning into a fucking insect! If you've got a movie you'd like us to review, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.